Hello. What you're looking at here is rice that is growing out of a rice field here in central Japan. And one of the things that's interesting is to note that this rice seems to be without any water in the rice field. The rice is standing in mud. This is actually a deliberately done by the farmers as it has an effect of uh, distressing the rice, the lack of water, which causes the, rice, the, the roots of the rice to uh, grow downward and will make the rice fuller and richer. So they'll reflood the field, the, uh, the plant will uh, grow larger, and then later they'll uh, drain it again and cause it to a little more distress and then reflood it again. So it's an alternating system that helps the rice to grow and you can see that indeed this rice field is growing very well. The item that I want to show you is this old statue. This is a statue of the Japanese luck god Ibisu. Ibisu is one of the uh, seven luck gods called Shichifukujin. And these gods are very popular in Japanese culture and you see them in art and uh, uh, they're written about in literature and you see statuary of the, of the gods as well. Two of the most popular of the seven are uh, Ibisu and uh, Daikoku who are typically seen together. Uh, this particular luck god is the patron god of uh, fishermen among other things and you can see that indeed Ibisu carries a large uh, fish, this is a, a tai or sea bream, and he carries it under his shoulder here. The god sometimes is seen carrying a little, a little fishing rod, and if the, if, the, if the statue had originally included a fishing rod, there would have been a hole right here, but there is no hole. So this is a, uh, a statue without the rod. You can see that the uh, statue wears a, a heavy patina of age, a very darkened appearance. Um, probably this was originally a, a, a light color or almost terracotta color ceramic. The statue is without any uh, um, significant chips, although there is something, an odd uh, mark here at the head, what appears to be almost be like a resin or glue on the surface here, uh, although I'm not sure exactly what that might be. Perhaps the uh, uh, statue once wore some headgear or maybe had some other item affixed to the top. But that is missing now. If you rattle the statue, you can hear some loose material within, although it doesn't seem to be uh, any significant damage anywhere. I don't see any any large uh, uh, cracks or anything. So altogether a very nice statue of Ibisu uh, ready for a display or to perhaps bring a little luck into uh, the life of its new owner. Thanks for dropping by and seeing how the rice is doing here in central Japan. Take care.